Hi everyone, welcome to Producties, the video series about uh, OVH cloud services and products, but also a business case uh, for startups. And today we are with Samson Son. Uh, welcome, Samson. Thank you for your time. Thank you, and hello, everyone. Can you tell us uh, a bit more about you before we deep dive the topic of the day? Yes, so I'm a product marketing manager uh, at OVH Cloud and uh, mainly I do uh, marketing plans and a strategy to communicate about our products. So I work mainly on public cloud products uh, such as uh, managed databases like uh, PostgreSQL, MySQL, Cassandra and many more uh, managed databases. And about this product, I simply explain uh, the value we bring to the customers and to the market and how we will help our customers to implement their use cases. Today, uh, we talk about a managed database. What is crucial uh, database for application? So first of all, the databases will store uh, the, the, the data and will allow, uh, allow customers to uh, manage and to retrieve data uh, in case of uh, to implement the, the data and also to perform oper operations on data such as filtering, uh, aggregating, uh, sorting. So it is very crucial for companies to process the data and today data is the first asset of a company. Secondly, uh, with uh, databases, uh, you can, um, you will provide to the applications uh, accurate, valid, and consistent data, mm -hmm. which is very essential for applications because, because uh, you will uh, provide a, a reliable data for applications to work on, and that's how you will create value from data. And uh, lastly, I will say that databases provide uh, security features uh, for your data, so not everyone can access your data with, uh, with data databases. You will have, for example, authentication and access control mechanism so that uh, only um, uh, the, the right people will access to the right data according uh, the, the access and the right they need. So again, this is uh, uh, the, the goal is to secure the data of your company in the databases for your applications. And uh, Samsung, we provide a, a wide uh, and a lot of type of database in OVH Cloud. Why uh, we have so many uh, choices? Huh? According your needs, uh, you will have to choose the right databases because um, uh, uh, you cannot have one type of databases to do all the operations. Many are specialized uh, in uh, some use cases and that's why we provide a wide range of databases to answer the best to our customer needs. For example, you have uh, the obvious uh, traditional relational databases such as uh, MySQL, PostgreSQL. Uh, with these databases, uh, you can implement uh, e-commerce applications. You can also implement, uh, for example, what we call uh, mission critical business uh, application, uh, for example, like in finance or in healthcare or in industries, because with relational databases, you secure every transaction. So it's very important for e-commerce application and critical, uh, say critical applications to have that uh, secure every transaction. Beside that, so beside of the traditional databases, we provide what we call uh, the no 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 SQL databases, such as Redis. And Redis is good when you need performance. For example, you need mm -hmm. um, the caching information from the main databases, so you need a very millisecond uh, response uh, for your, your your application. So that's why you will use Redis. So Redis is very uh, used, for example, in uh, chat or messaging applications where you need a very quick response or in uh, gaming uh, leaderboard uh, application, that type of application. And other uh, example of um, uh, another NoSQL no databases is Cassandra. And with Cassandra, you can create product catalogs. So that's why with Cassandra, it's uh, better to be used uh, with, for example, retail applications. So this is uh, the strength of Cassandra. So you can see well, we, with these small examples that um, uh, there is one data, the right database according your use case. So uh, that's why we provide a wide range. So this is just, I think, three examples. So <laughs> I won't go <laughs> into detail because we will uh, we will 
is I will speak a lot, but uh, you see with each types has uh, its uh, its strengths and weakness, and uh, we provide um, uh, according the, the the use case we will provide the right database for customers. So that's why we have a rich uh, choice uh, for customers to choose uh, the the database. Samson, can you also uh, tell us more about uh, the OVH Cloud database as services? Uh, so we provide um, uh, the database as a service uh, for our customer, which means uh, that the customers uh, will focus on the implementation of the use case and on the core on his core business, mm -hmm. while we uh, deploy, host, and maintain uh, the database. Uh, and so this is the, the, the first value we will bring to the customer. There's no need uh, to, to take care of uh, the database uh, layer because data, uh, databases can be a lot, uh, a lot of work for, uh, for uh, uh, technical teams yeah. to maintain, to host, uh, and uh, to deploy. And with, uh, within OVH Cloud, customers can deploy any databases we provide in just few clicks. So this is the first uh, value we bring to the customers. Um, uh, and obviously, it includes, for example, the security patches, uh, the different updates. And for, for companies, it's not easy to have that wide range of databases. Mm -hmm. And within OVH Cloud, we can just think about the use case, think about their needs, what they want to do, and choose the right database, and then uh, to deploy it in a few clicks. After that, um, I will say that uh, uh, with OVH Cloud, we provide our databases um, with built-in uh, redundancy mechanism, which means we have different copies of uh, the data, of the databases, uh, on the different um, databases nodes. So it means that we will uh, do, uh, we will have mechanism to, um, to reduce the downtime of the applications mm -hmm. and to make your data more available uh, for your application. And uh, since I think a few months, we even now provide for the same price, so, so there is no change of price, we provide for the same price a secondary uh, backup uh, location. So uh, it means so for every uh, every databases that we provide, except uh, for for now uh, MongoDB, mm -hmm. but for every da uh, every databases else, um, there is a, a second copy uh, offsite backup. So on a remote location, so you have a first copy of your data in the same location of your databases, and you have a remote location in another location in case of, so you can have backups of your uh, databases uh, we, um, if you need it. So this is really a high uh, availability um, perspective for your application. And uh, this uh, database as services is uh, available uh, in other provider, cloud provider. Uh, what is the difference with uh, the OVH cloud service? Um, I would say first that um, we at OVH cloud uh, uh, are very serious about uh, giving the customer the, the, the full control of their data. So that's why we have stringent um, uh, um, certifications. So the different ISO certification, the certification for healthcare, etc. So that customer uh, or customer is sure to have control over uh, their data. And uh, then uh, we based all our technical layers on uh, what we call uh, a rev, um, an open infrastructure, uh, open standard infrastructure. So uh, a customer, when uh, he comes uh, at OVH Cloud and when he builds an infrastructure, including the, what he, he does uh, with databases, instances, and Kubernetes, etc., he, he uh, will be sure that he can uh, bring his infrastructure, if needed for any reason, mm -hmm. uh, bring his infrastructure outside of OVH Cloud and implement it uh, in any open standard infrastructure. So he keep uh, the control over his data and also his infrastructure, and which is very uh, unique in the market today of a cloud provider. And um, we also want to, uh, to for, for him to have this, what we call a reversible um, in infrastructure mm -hmm. application so that he is sure he will very uh, have the full control over his data and, uh, and, uh, and infrastructure. And I would say that uh, obviously this is uh, OVH Cloud model, but we want to provide the, the best value for our customer, the best uh, um, uh, pricing for our customers. So that's why as any of our products, 
we, uh, we have a predictable and a transparent uh, pricing model. Uh, you have, uh, with our databases, different service plans. So according your needs and your growth, you can change uh, the different plans. And uh, the, you don't pay the, 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 the traffic, the, mm -hmm. the, the traffic of uh, your, your, your uh, databases. And that's why uh, for our customers, because sometimes traffic is very difficult for customers to, to assess how much uh, I will consume in terms of bandwidth, etc. And so that's why uh, we have just simple service, service plans. Uh, and uh, nothing else uh, to, to, take, uh, to take into account for the pricing, and that's how uh, customers can uh, um, can assess a uh, different budget and control his budget and control his data. And uh, for Finnish, um, database sounds uh, amazing, but really complex also. Can you give us uh, tips for the startup who want to start uh, with one? Uh, what is, uh, how, how to start with this database? Um, First, I would say that uh, you really need to focus on your needs and on your use case. And on our uh, website, uh, we have a, uh, the, the, the product catalog with different databases and uh, each time with a different service plan and different uh, best use case. So first, uh, you need uh, to focus not on the databases, but on the, your, your use case. And uh, for startup, I would say that um, we are moving a lot. Maybe you will need these features or maybe you will need these databases because you are in a, a, a specific business and you will say that, okay, maybe they don't have it, etc. I invite you to check on our blog, uh, OVH Cloud uh, blog, what we implement in terms of features uh, and uh, in terms of, uh, of new databases because we are working a lot with Avon, so our, our partner to implement and to manage the databases, uh, to bring new features and uh, new, um, new databases. So uh, use our resources. Uh, it can be the technical guides or it can be also uh, the, the, blog the, the OVH Cloud blog, because recently we uh, write um, a full blog post with the new um, features we implemented, etc. So technical updates. So I, I invite you, uh, I invite people to, uh, to consult this, uh, this blog and uh, all resources on that topic. Okay, and we can write under the video the li direct links that you give <laughs> uh, to, 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 to be fast on that. Thank you, Samson, for your time again, and uh, hope to see you in the next Productees uh, really soon. And uh, we continue uh, this uh, Productees with the interview of the startup just now. And now we are with our startup, uh, Sild, uh, and its CEO, Timothée Rebourg. Uh, welcome, Timothée. Hello. Uh, can you uh, say to us a few words about Sild, your startup? So, um, Sild, we are uh, specializing in uh, providing end-to-end -end encryption to uh, companies that edit software. Our goal is to help them uh, implement this technology that protects data uh, it's basically the strictest level of, of protection, but it's difficult to implement for a, a, a developer, even an experienced developer. Uh, so we provide them uh, with uh, an SDK, a software development kit, that they can embed within their web application, mobile applications, or des desktop application, if, if applicable, and, uh, and, uh, and it saves them uh, a lot of time. What were your needs uh, in terms of database architecture? So uh, we, we have uh, two components in Sealed. Uh, the, co the first component is the one I described earlier, is the SDK. It's embedded in our customers' apps. And the other component is uh, the key escrow uh, or key storage on our end. Uh, so the, the, the most important uh, feature that we look for in a database architecture it's, is its um, availability. We don't want it to be unavailable because it would lead our customers to be unavailable. And we don't want data loss uh, because if we lose data, we lose the keys and that's as good as a crypto locker. What are your business cases? Uh, what are you addressing with your solution? So uh, the, in terms of feature, that's, uh, we provide end-to-end -end encryption. But the reason why it's useful uh, to our customers 
uh, is uh, when they ha uh, have to protect sensitive data in SaaS applications. So for example, in medical uh, apps and e-health e uh, apps, which have uh, uh, grown uh, exponentially in the in past uh, years, uh, you, you have the most sensitive uh, data that you can have on an individual uh, and it needs to be protected. Uh, and that actually is becoming um, mandatory in some countries to enter and encrypt medical data. Uh, the other use case is for collab collaborative work. So we work with a, a company called Wimi, uh, who, uh, which uh, basically builds a competitor to, to, to the American uh, collaborative uh, suites. Um, and we help them end to end encrypt uh, everything uh, in, in, this, in this suite. And the final uh, app is any um, uh, business app. So for example, uh, document uh, management or uh, workflow management that are specific to um, the uh, business case of an industry. For example, we work with nuclear, uh, nuclear uh, uh, industry. We work with uh, service uh, companies which have very specific tools that they develop internally which store very sensitive data for them and they don't want it to be in the cloud uh, without protection, whether it's a French cloud or an American cloud. And Timothée, why OVH Cloud? Uh, so we have uh, a strong statement that we don't want to uh, rely on American providers uh, because of uh, the extraterritoriality of American law, uh, precisely the FISA 702 um, paragraph. Uh, so we uh, want uh, a, a cloud provider that is uh, immune to uh, extra European law. What's next for your company? Um, the next step for our company is uh, to um, actually the post quantum security is uh, a key item uh, without a pun uh, that we are working on uh, in, in, in the coming month that we, will, we are working on and that we'll keep working on in, a, in the coming month uh, because uh, basically uh, quantum computers are arriving at a slow pace but it's coming and we need to change uh, the, 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 the SDK so that our customers can benefit post-quantum security. Thank you, uh, Timote. Hope to see you soon uh, to discuss again with you. And uh, thank you, uh, all of you, to uh, continue to follow uh, Productize. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.